We all know that a capacitor allows AC but blocks DC. Let's explore the reason behind this. When we connect a capacitor to a DC power supply, it begins to charge, causing a current flow in the circuit. However, once the capacitor is fully charged, there is no space for additional charges and the current flow stops. When we connect this charged capacitor to a load, it begins to discharge, resulting in a current flow. Thus, we can conclude that there is current flow in the circuit whenever the capacitor is charging or discharging. This is why a capacitor blocks DC. It allows some initial current flow, but once fully charged, it can no longer permit any current flow in the circuit. Now, let's consider the case of AC. Imagine an AC power source with its waveform. For convenience, let's divide this waveform into four parts. In the first part, the voltage rises from zero to its maximum value. During this process, the capacitor charges from zero to its maximum value. In the second part, the voltage drops from its maximum to its minimum value, causing the capacitor to discharge the stored charges. This results in continuous charging and discharging. In the third part, the capacitor charges from zero to its maximum value again, but in the opposite direction. Once more, the stored charges are released. With an AC power supply, a capacitor constantly charges and discharges, leading to a constant oscillation of charges. This oscillation constitutes a current flow. So with an AC power supply, a capacitor has charges oscillating between its plates, resulting in a continuous current flow. Like and follow for more informative videos.